Congratulations, you did it. You're affiliated with Twitch. Now there's a lot that comes with it. Bits, subs, channel points. Ah! There's a lot, I know. Welcome to the classroom, my name is Spanish Jay, and today I'm gonna teach you how to integrate channel points to make your chat a little bit more interactive so that your community can use your in-stream currency to maybe keep you on your toes or entertain even you and themselves a little bit. Today's tutorial will be incorporating a Mix It Up bot. It is a bot system that works uh, with Twitch and your channel points to get all of the things that you want to. Uh, just so you know, I stream live on Twitch every Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Uh, I integrate a lot of these things into my stream, so if you want to stop by and chat about it or um, just see how they work, you're more than welcome to. Description down below. Um, so let's get started. Once you download Mix It Up and incorporate all of your Twitch information, this is the first thing that it'll bring you to, the chat screen. If you click on the top left uh, three lines and go down to channel points, you'll see a whole bunch of things. Now, these are all things that I have incorporated into my stream. If you are a Mixer streamer, um, I do have a video on how to incorporate all of your mix play stuff into channel points. Um, it should show up there. That's the video. So make sure you go there and check out how to do it. But if you're not, and you want to incorporate something new into your stream and make it a little bit more interactive, this is how you're gonna to have to do it. On the bottom, you're gonna click add command. The only option you have is advanced command, and that's good because you want to make everything an advanced command. Let's give it a name. So for example, let's just go with uh, wow one, okay? When you click uh, the action, you have all of these things. You can put a chat message, which we'll do a chat message and make sure you hit add. Let's add a sound. You can go down to sound. Let's add that. So these are two things that I incorporate a lot into my stream. Um, whenever a sound is played or something shows up, um, sometimes not with everything, a chat command also shows up. So let's start with the sound. I named this wow for a reason. If you click on sound, you have to select the file path. Go to browse. I have things kind of organized, so I have a file for just my sounds and everything that I use. So if we scroll all the way down, look, there's the wow one. You can add whatever sounds that you have or uh, on your PC or that you've downloaded over time. So double click on the wow, here it is. Let's listen to it. Wow. That's the May wow from Overwatch. So we're just gonna go with that for right now. You can change the volume of it because sometimes it does overpower your stream. So unless you have a mixer or go out XLR or an Elgato wave, um, you're not going to be able to adjust the sounds. So I would recommend wow. listening to it on here wow. and figuring out how loud it is that you want it. For this case, I'm just going to do it at 100 because it's not really that big of a deal. Wow. So we have our sound all set up. Moving on. When you wanna add a chat message, this will show up at the same exact time that the channel point is being used and the same exact time that the sound will be used. So for example, you can say something like, wow. If you know the special identifier for the emotes that you wanna use specifically for your channel, you can add them on here and they'll show up in the chat, which is kind of nice. If you wanna be a little bit more specific and have the person who used the channel point show up, you just click right here on the special identifier reference. It'll bring you here to this website, and this has everything that you need to know. These special identifiers let you know who it is that you're talking about, or they can have some kind of text that shows up. So for this case, we're gonna go to user. It brings you right to user. The one that we want is dollar sign username. Copy this. Go back to the chat, put in username, and then we can say something like, says wow. Perfect, that's all you need. We gave it a name of wow one. We have our sound. Wow. We have our text. And then you just hit save. And here it is on the very bottom, wow one. Now let's go to Twitch. What you wanna do is you wanna go to community. Then you go down to channel points. You can name it whatever you want. I name my gold stars because obviously this is the classroom. So you wanna go to manage, reward, and challenges. If you scroll down, you can hit add custom reward. Once you hit add custom reward, you'll get this screen. Give your reward a name. I cannot stress this enough. 
you have to have your reward name match exactly what you put and mix it up. So remember, we did WoW 1. You can add a blurb to let people know what it is that you um, want to talk about. Maybe like, please don't spam this, but use accordingly. Whoops. Enter amount. Remember the amount that you have um, for your in chat currency. So I'm just going to make it 50 for six and purposes for right now. Um, you can change the background color to whatever you want, but I'm not really going to do that because I'll probably just change it soon. And that's really it. Um, you hit create and there it is. Wow. One. Now let's go back to mix it up. So let's test it out. I'm going to go to the reward point. I'm going to hit redeem. Wow. Bam. Perfect. It says, it says exactly what I needed to. It says the username of the person that reused it. And it says, wow. And also you heard the audio. So that works out perfectly. Now you can do a whole bunch of different things, whatever it is you really want to do. So that's how you use sounds and chat command messages through mix it up for your channel points. It may seem like a lot, but once you get used to it, it's extremely simple. Um, and it's really up to what your creative mind will come up with. Um, you are more than welcome to ask me any questions uh, or if you have any comments, down in the comment section below. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and share. And if you'd like a more in-depth um, command video, let me know as well, because I don't have a problem making one of those. Thanks guys, class dismissed.